everyone likes to have navigation in their trucks or cars and you want it to be up to date you know that's one of the pitfalls of built-in navigation is it's not always up to date and it's not free to keep it up to date it's actually can be quite expensive but Google solves that problem everybody knows Google Maps everybody loves using Google Maps so now your infotainment system in your vehicle provides that for you um, even if I know where I'm going something about having a map just gives you that peace of mind it's really simple to set it up uh, for an Android smartphone first you download the Android Auto app and it's going to look the same as it looks on this screen as it looks on your phone but when you're in your Chevrolet all it takes is a USB cable which like I said is charging your phone as well we like having full batteries and it's going to bring you to this home screen the home screen which is the circle in the middle is similar to the home button on your telephone where it kind of puts everything together places you've been people you've talked to music you've listened to using your you know Pandora Spotify iHeartRadio uh, everybody likes having music on the go it's all here right right here for you so you have a few icons on the screen like I said the circle button is going to be your home button similar to the home button on your phone where it condenses everything into one screen recent calls recent destinations recent music the headphones app is where all of your music apps are going to be stored so anything you have installed on your phone is going to show up here and it's going to be your account you're not going to have to log into anything you simply press a button you're listening to your Pandora um, underneath the phone icon all of your contacts are going to be stored so you can use phone calls by voice texting by voice if your contacts have an email you can email by voice and the, the most valuable one in my opinion is the little road sign which is going to take us to Google Maps uh, we have several options once we're inside um, like I said navigation people love having navigation people want to be up to date Google Maps provides that for you now once we're inside we have several options uh, one feature that I really like the little three bars is going to be your options and we can actually turn on a traffic monitor so we check this box now all the streets will be colored to show you where stoppages may be in traffic gives you a little advantage you can bypass traffic if it, it were to arise uh, now to make a navigation route it's very simple it's a button on the steering wheel same button we use for Bluetooth except now we hold the button a little longer and now we're speaking with OK Google so we hold the button Home Depot showing results for Home Depot very simple she's gonna bring up all the Home Depots in town so all we have to do is pick the which one we'd like to go to so for example we'll just pick location E that's a 22 minute drive since the number is colored in green that means there is no traffic along the way if it were yellow there might be some slow slow traffic if it were red we might want to reconsider the, the destination um, so now we can actually either call the business if we have any questions or using the navigation arrow now we're on our way head south on Cassett Avenue toward Merrimack Avenue then turn left onto Merrimack Ave now once we have our destination selected we still have more options uh, as you heard the voice commands if you do not want that to interrupt your music or whatever else you might be listening to you just press the speaker button now it is crossed out you'll still have your navigation up and running but no longer will you be interrupted with uh, turn by turn commands you also have other options which are under the three dots so we have show routes this is a handy feature especially if you're familiar with where you're driving from we can see alternate routes to get to the same location it's going to give us travel times but maybe you know a certain area is bad for traffic it's very simple pick an alternate route and she's telling us that's going to be one minute slower but maybe we know a little more than she does we can still select that so she's going to reroute us on a different path to the same location 
Uh, another th another cool thing about this screen is it works just like your map on your phone. So we can use this drop arrow to maximize what we can see on the map. We can pinch to zoom. We can move around town. No problem. We can also use the target and takes us right back to where we're sitting. Uh, another option we have, some people don't like the 3D map. It's a personal preference. That's what the compass button is for. We press the screen, compass comes up, press the compass. Now we have a two-dimensional map always pointing north. It's basically just a personal preference. Pressing the compass button again brings us back to the 3D map. So this is an awesome feature. I use it just about every day. So if you have any questions about how to set up Android Auto or how to use any of these features, come to Nimnik Chevrolet. The technology experts here, myself, Shane, Ricky, Michael, we're here for you to use. We love hanging out with you, show you all these features, make sure you're comfortable with them. It's going to make everything a better experience for you and your driving experience. Uh, it's, it's a unique feature here at Nimnik Chevrolet and it's something we're really proud of.